I'm stop scrolling, please. You have a message from your person. Um, salutations, my lovers. If you sing this message, this means that um, this is the right time. I'm um, receiving it. You have manifested your your prayers. Um, have been heard. I'm getting that for most of you, like this is going to be a romantic greeting about your person. For many of you, I'm getting that you are still in a um, 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 uh, no contact um, situation. Also, happy full moon in Scorpio, like it's a pink moon when I am recording this. So, <clears throat> for part number two, please go check it out in my profile. For personal links, the email address down below. I am a medium psychic and a tarot reader. Also, since this is a collective reading, pick only those parts of the information which you feel, um, uh, um, which you feel with your heart and your guts. And um, this card rest. Also, please excuse my voice. <clears throat> I am really like it's it's like my throat chakra is purging. So, um, yeah, um, zero one zero one on the timer. I know that you cannot see it, but a pink flame and a major number. So. They need you. <clears throat> I'm getting that we're dealing with a divine masculine, like in many of the cases. So, even if you are in a relationship with this person, maybe they haven't expressed this to you because of divine masculine, like, you know, clearing all about. I'm getting childhood, how they were brought up, like, if especially if they're like a logical male, like, um, feelings, um, expressing my feelings is a sign of weakness. I'm strong, emotions, they keep me down. You get me. So, some of them may have been like in not very good relationship, like in karmic relationships, so they are scared of being vulnerable. But this is what they like are thinking. I'm hearing like quite clearly like I want to express this sooner than you actually think. Also, if I'm if I'm posting the video this because I'm checking if it's recording because we had several, you know. Now what else would they love to tell you? Now, keep in mind that for some of you this is a confirmation, like maybe you were searching for this extra confirmation about what you have been communicating, especially if you have like a telepathic or so bound. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Six of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the victory card. Then, wow, this is like very strong, I feel the energy being back here. They're coming in to tell you that they are going to be victorious, that they are working throughout their fears, limiting beliefs, um, intimidating, like <clears throat> um, intrusive thoughts. So they are overcoming this. With each and every, with each and every passing day, I'm be I'm becoming stronger in my own way. Believe it or not, with courage that the me with courage, determination, and love. <clears throat> so they, okay, I'm seeing somebody being in the gym, so they may be getting physically fit, um, doing manifestation, like manifest, uh, manifestation, affirmations, meditating. So they wanted to tell you that they're doing good for them, like they are working on themselves. And because I am on the right track, baby. I know that this is, was a song by Lady Gaga, so somebody like Lady Gaga can be significant, but it's like I'm on the right track, baby. So they want to, to let you know that they are on the right track. <coughs> so now let's see. What else do we got up the sleeves? Okay, somebody can be a, magi a magician, somebody can work in a casino to be a, a groupie. Or they may generally love like magic, Harry Potter, witch stuff, <coughs> being witch, like Wiccans, get you. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm hearing that they are like starting to take, like another confirmation, they're starting to take good care of themselves. I'm getting also new financial gains, a new job, something relocating. Now, for others of you, it's like a promise to you that they'll be treat like that they're going to start to treat you better. They know that this is a big thing, like to say. <clears throat> for some of them, it may take them a while, you know, to start seeing this in the tree, you know, like to be building. I'm hearing hard ground and grounding, but when I hear that, like, 
did you hear that? I don't know, but there was like a bit of a car as a confirmation. Yeah, also that, also 0505 on the timer, that they're going to be more grounded, more stable, more mature, like this solid rock foundation, if you get me. So some of them may be geologists, they may be collecting like crystals, rocks, like going into caves, like um, into caves or climbing. Um, yeah, you know, you know, climbing caves and mountains. Okay, and one last card before we move to part number two. Don't forget that for more extra messages, chat messages from them to you, you can book a personal reading with me via the email address down below. Okay, what else? Okay, I just saw a glimpse of the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're leaving something behind. An old belief. Their karmic partner, like for some of them, their families, if their families are like toxic or for the time being, they're they're cutting ties for everything which and everything and everyone which I'm hearing them say I'm seeing clearly who, who is on my side, who has been backstabbing me, who has been delaying my manifestations, who is there, who is out there against me. I want to be strong, I want to be independent. So the clear see, especially <clears throat> they're having this divine clarity, this epiphany, which has prevented them and you to be together, like addictions, family, karmic partners. So they are living everything which doesn't serve them, it doesn't sustain them, it doesn't um, refill their cup. Okay. One last card before we move to part number two. Yeah, it's the five of cups. They're not happy, they're trying to move, they're trying to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. So there is there is a lot of hope in these cards towards you, towards them, to, towards this relationship. But clearly they're seeing that with the spill cups, this wasn't for them. It's running like... <clears throat> It's, I don't know how to say it, like the liquid is disappearing and there is more if they like turn back, if they see the light. And they're definitely going to go and search more, especially with the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> okay, my lovers, we're now moving to part number two. Thank you very much. So, okay, my lovers, this is part number two. For part number one, please go and check it out in my profile. For personal readings, the email address down below. So what else about your person? <laughs> I'm hearing them say, you were right, you were always right. How could I have been so foolish? How could I have been so much in my ego? As we covered in part number one, I'm mostly channeling biological males, especially divine masculine. So I'm seeing Western scenery, so they may be a fan of the Western films. They may be cowboys living in the western states like united states vaqueros cowboys hmm. i'm seeing the scope of a of a taurus so they may be taurus or aries and i'm getting the emperor card yeah i was too much in my ego too much like on power so submitting like dominating domination okay well hmm Nagorida. Okay, we have again the Six of Wands. We literally had this card. It was in the beginning of pound number one. A confirmation. I was too focused on winning. I always, I have been thought that I always would, I always must have been number one. Like competition, I'm seeing the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords, like winning, being number one, second place is not tolerated. For some of you, I'm seeing a bodybuilding, like they may be competing in a bodybuilding contest or some kind of a contest like singing, dancing. So there was too much pressure on them and they're like realizing that it wasn't always about being in first place. But something about the outcomes of that, like nevertheless, if I finish second, sixth or last, 
The important thing is to have people who truly support and love me and are proud of me, whatever I'm doing. Yeah, the two of ones. When I stopped, when I stopped like to check if this recording, it's too, like it was um, 0 to 12. So check out this angel twin flame number or um, 212 or 212. And we have two, so triple twos. They're definitely like thinking about their decisions. If they have been making them with their heart, with their passion, I'm getting like something in my left ears, as uh, you know, be careful of your wishes, your actions, so it's a nod to them. You see that this fellow is holding like the globe. Yeah, yeah. actually he's holding like one. He In this deck, it's depicted that he's holding one of the staff, so one of the ones, so choosing the right thing with my heart, so the heart knows what it wants, so following their heart, being more open, finding the right time. Something to express to you. Now, this is like strong. This may be for only one of you, but I'm going to deliver the message. So since this is a creative link, pick, like take it if it's about you, leave it. You were right something like you were right again about their passions. Like you truly know me, like you truly, or you had the hunch of who I am, who I wanted to be, what I'm truly invested in, what was my soul mission. So they are coming throughout with this now. For some of you may have received this like via dreams, telepathic messages. For some of you, they're going to come forward and to express this. Now, let's see what else would they want to know. You were right, one card, sorry. Oh. <coughs> okay, the cards which fell, the Three of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Empress with Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. And I did say that I see Taurus like the star sign so they are angry they are bitter i'm literally seeing them like i'm seeing this since spirit showed me this scene like in the second harry potter film like harry potter and the chamber of secrets when dobby was um hitting his head like on the on the drawer you know like like bad dobby bad dobby i'm seeing this with them but it's like you just say the name like, because they have treated you bad, they think you as the empress, regardless of your biological sex and your gender, like, yeah. Um, they they do get and they're like regretting this. They're trying to, to heal this, to forgive themselves for hurting, like for backstabbing you, for hurting your heart, for breaking your heart, like literally. Yeah, it's literally like they are like, this felt like with the heart and they're like seeing you, it's like, also how you are surrounded by light, by sunshine, and they're like surrounded by, by those rain clouds, rain clouds, cloud number nine. So they clearly see the contrast, like I got involved, I got involved with the wrong people, with karmics, with addictions, with something which is not for me. And this is what I'm always having those clouds around me while okay i heard my divine feminine so for some of you this is like your divine counterpart you're their divine feminine it's like she's driving she's going up she's loving herself she's moving she's surrounding herself with loving people with her soul tribe i need to be more like her so they're literally trying to forgive themselves how to also to ask for your forgiveness to say like again you were right you were right divine feminines also 0606 on the timer i just saw it okay what else one last card or last two cards you're going to see what else would they want to tell you before before expressing this in action so before they telling before they tell you this in action and when i was saying this we have the night of wands lovely so there is action there is movement there's clearly the manifestation they're like currently manifesting, being brave enough to come towards you, like to knock on your door, to call you, to tell you like you were right, I was wrong, so sorry. Will you ever forgive me? Because sometimes I feel that I cannot forgive myself. But you're so generous, you're so loving, you're so forgiving. I am not deserving of your love, your honor, your presence, your energy. Even though that I know that... 
hmm, you still love me, like you're going to forgive me, but I am not willing like to bet with this. Like I'm being open and 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 vigilant if there is also no there is no there is no forgiveness, we are we are moving on, you know, game over. Yeah, I just noticed like yeah, I would just pick this deck because it was easier, and I just noticed that I have the Ankh, so the cross, which is a cross about Rebirth, so they're clearly wanting to have a, a rebirth of your connection. Now, if you are, okay, not physical separation, I heard like physical separation for some of you, but if you are in a physical relationship with this person, they wanting to be more open to you, like to have this um, renaissance, this rebirth of your relationship, like being more closer, no forgiveness, yeah, justice with math, Libra, <laughs> we had Venus, we had I saw Taurus, and now we have Libra. You see, so Matt is saying this is for you and them. Have your hearts open, open your heart chakra, clean your throat chakra, speak your truth, don't back down, say whatever it's on your mind. Like, it's like if if your divine masculine, like your divine counterpart, this person has hurt you, you need to speak to tell them everything they to be aware of like and vice versa if you have heard them in some way shape or form they need to tell you this as well you must talk you must find the balance you you must see that you are an exact mirror of each other so the more they have been hurting you you may be doing this like attention or intention so i'm getting prosperity talking balancing as some kind of a communication and forgiveness. It's comic, it's strong. This is a major arcana. Okay, my lovelies, please. Um, uh, please give me a like, comment, double, and subscribe to help me boost and grow my channel. I'm proud of you. I love you. Keep ascending, keep grounding, keep up the, the good work. Um, I'm a bit of a was for the right to Je suis très fier de vous. Je vous embrasse fort. Je vous aime. Et on se verra à la prochaine.